We expect to have our digital lives with us at all times, 24-7, 365. Am I right? Yes. And we want our experiences in the car to align with those experiences enjoyed outside of the car. Correct? Yes. So to discuss the role that Intel plays in that industry, please welcome VP and GM of Intel's Automotive Solutions Division, uh, Elliot Gavis. Thank, Thank you, you, sir. Glad you're here. My pleasure. All right. Thank you They're for that all yours. sporty introduction. <laughs> Well, thank you for joining me today for this fireside chat at CES. I don't know about you, but I'm a little chilly and disappointed we don't really have a fire. Uh, but I'm here to talk a little bit about what we're doing with the connected car. It's a very exciting time in the auto industry today, and I'm thrilled to be a piece of it uh, at Intel. We see a number of trends bringing technology and the automobile closer and closer together. Consumers really want to maintain their digitally connected lifestyle, and more and more that's become an important criteria in deciding what kind of car you want to buy. And because of that, it creates both a business opportunity uh, and a very interesting opportunity to create great experiences for consumers. You know, at Intel, we're very interested in what we've been calling the Internet of Things. And Brian Krasanich, our CEO, has been talking about the Internet of Things, smart technology, putting intelligence everywhere. And in the Internet of Things, the car is a thing. And there's a great opportunity to leverage the capabilities to really transform the car ownership experience. We already see the use of, of crowdsourced data from vehicles creating real-time traffic information. We see car makers leveraging data from their vehicles, bringing it up to the cloud, using big data techniques to actually create and improve better vehicles for the future. And we see these trends only expanding and growing, creating a tremendous opportunity to, to, to make a better the world a better place. Now, we see this as part of a broad trend where today we're starting out in how we entertain and help keep drivers safe. We're moving to add more and more safety capabilities in the vehicle where we use computing power to help make the vehicle situationally aware, aware of what's around us and help us avoid accidents. We know if you can give a driver a half a second of warning, you can avoid over 60% of collisions. If you could give a driver a full second of warning, you could avoid over 90% of collisions. So we're looking at how do we use computer vision and other technologies to make cars situationally aware and also moving beyond that and having the cars take action on their own ultimately leading to autonomous vehicles, which is an exciting, exciting position to be in in the future. Well, let me talk a little bit specifically about some of the things that we're doing at Intel to help bring this world of computing and the automobile closer together. It goes without saying we're going to keep driving Moore's Law. We're going to keep bringing advanced computing technology to the auto industry. And we're very excited about what we've accomplished already. Very excited about the cars we've had in the booth. If you haven't had an opportunity to take a look at them, I do invite you to go and uh, take a look at the vehicles we have here today already utilizing Intel technology. But beyond the technology, there are other things that we're doing. First, Intel is one of the world's largest venture capitalists, and we're making investments with innovative companies that are helping to accelerate our vision of the connected car. And there's really fascinating things going on. One of the areas that I find particularly interesting is they're evolving the way apps come into the vehicle. They're thinking about how to take these services and decompose them and reassemble them in ways that are particularly driver safe and driver friendly, bringing, uh, changing the balance of what is in the vehicle, what is in the cloud, and what is in the device to make it driver friendly. 
We know we all bring our phones in our cars with us, but texting while driving makes it 29 times more likely you're gonna be in a collision. 29 times more likely. There's an opportunity, and many automakers are taking that opportunity now, to, to use technology to enable us to use voice to send text messages and generally make the world a safer place. We're making investments in, in companies that are doing technologies like that and many others to create exciting new experiences in the vehicle. Our research labs are doing fascinating work from low level technology work to studying how people use their vehicles, what sort of things they do. Our ethnographers completed a study of how drivers use their cars in Brazil, in China, in the US, and it was fascinating to see all of the things that we bring into our cars. Our cars mean much more to us than just getting from place A to place B. We decorate them with religious objects. We fill them with things that are important to us, car seats, umbrellas, kids' toys. Uh, KPMG recently did a set of focus groups looking at cars and what they mean to us. And one of the women in the studies described her vehicle as an extension of her purse. Right, it's a very personal thing and there's a lot of different reasons for buying cars and it, it's fascinating to use that data to understand how we drive and why we purchase cars and be able to share that information with some of the automakers. Finally, we've continued to make significant investments in product development. Again, we're continuing to drive Moore's Law forward, but additionally, we've established a new research and development center. We've brought on well over 100 engineers with significant experience in the automotive industry to accelerate and help our uh, position and grow our capabilities in automotive as Intel is playing a greater and greater role in uh, automotive and working with automakers. Now, I spoke a lot about what we're doing, but it's really very important to recognize that we're doing this in a community of the industry, working with automotive suppliers and directly with the automakers themselves. And one of the collaborations that I'm really very excited about is our collaboration with Infinity. If you haven't had an opportunity yet, I do invite you to look at the beautiful Infinity Q50 that's just outside the booth. Uh, I'm ready to sign you up and sell as many vehicles as I can today. It is really a beautiful car, and more importantly, it really delivers a beautiful experience inside the vehicle through a very innovative application of technology. And to talk a little bit more about what this marriage of technology and the automobile means, I'd like to invite uh, Larry Haddad, Global Marketing Chief of Nissan, to have a discussion with me about uh, cars. Please join me in welcoming Larry. Larry, thank you for joining me Hi, today. Alex. Thank you, my pleasure. So, Larry, I, beautiful, beautiful car, and thank you so much for joining me here. Can you maybe tell me, uh, to you, to Nissan, what does it mean to bring technology and the automobile together? What's driving this? Yeah, well, that's why I'm really, really glad to be here today at the, the biggest technology event in the world, right? Uh, it's a, uh, I love coming to CES every year, and this year is very special for me because we're bringing our new Infiniti Q50 here with some of the most advanced electronics of any car in the world. Uh, we have the Infiniti in-touch system in it. We have direct active steering. Uh, we have Infiniti intuition that really knows you, each individual driver and sets all the attributes of the car to each individual driver's uh, uh, preferences. Uh, it's a really exciting car. It's really, uh, it's fun to drive too. Yeah, I've had the pleasure of uh, driving the car and you know, driving that car, using that uh, drive-by-wire steering system, setting it for my preference, it, it really made my heart race. It's very exciting. But the thing that got me most excited was when I turned it on, I saw an Intel brand show up on the screen. <laughs> C could you maybe tell me a little bit about what bringing the Infinity brand and the Intel brand together, why you did that, what it means? Right. You know, the, uh, 
the Q50 has a new uh, uh, vehicle entertainment system in it. We uh, brand it in Infinity in Touch, and uh, it has uh, Intel processor inside, and we're proud to have the, uh, the Intel logo uh, in our car. Uh, and this, this uh, system is, it's an evolving system. In a way, it's like a smartphone. Uh, it's, uh, at first glance, it's a navigation system. It's a Bluetooth connectivity system. But what uh, sets this apart is the ability to uh, add additional apps over time. And uh, our engineers uh, are working with industry partners right now to bring additional apps uh, to this vehicle. So when a customer buys a Q50, he'll have uh, lots of services, lots of content when he buys the car, but it will continue to evolve over time, uh, just like your smartphone does. Uh, it's fascinating to have the car be an evolving consumer experience, continuing to delight us even more after we drive off the lot. So that sounds fabulous. Larry, what's next? Where do you see it all going? Uh, that, that's a great question. That's why I'm really glad to be in this industry right now. Uh, we have lots of technology in the pipeline. The interesting thing is cars 20, 30 years ago were almost 100% mechanical. Uh, and slowly but surely, they're becoming more an electronic device. And we're kind of hitting a point of critical mass right now where all the pieces are coming together for the, uh, uh, for the car to be a critical piece of the Internet of Things. And we're looking at very exciting future technologies like uh, self-driving autonomous cars. And we're going to see this uh, really in the not-so-distant future. Uh, that is just fantastic. Thank you so much for joining me, Larry. I You're appreciate welcome. it. And again, if you haven't had an opportunity to see that vehicle, it's right outside the booth. It is a beautiful car delivering a great experience. All right. Thank you, Larry. I'll say a You're couple welcome, more Larry. things. Thank All you. Right. Uh, so at Intel, we see our work evolving, just like the experiences you'll find in that beautiful Infiniti Q50. We're moving more and more to delivering technologies that help our partners deliver advanced safety in the vehicle, again, making that vehicle situationally aware, and then moving forward, applying the incredible Intel technology and processing power to enable autonomous vehicles. Many researchers today are using Intel in the trunk of their cars to enable self-driving vehicles, and we're working to make sure that that research work can actually evolve to be production ready. Today, 1.3 million people a year die in traffic accidents, and not all of them are in cars. Many of them can be pedestrians or bicyclists. There's another 50 million people that, ca that are seriously injured in car accidents. And 95% of accidents are actually caused by driver error. There's a great opportunity for us, working together with the industry, really to enrich the lives of every pe person on Earth by keeping us safer in our vehicles and making the world a safer place. I want to thank you for your attention. I want to thank Infinity for being just a terrific uh, partner to work with. Again, I invite you to look at everything here in the Intel booth and enjoy your time at the show. Thank you for your attention.